Oh no! Why? Oh well, we'll have to Google this. Oh yeah, <laughs> what is it we always forget to say? Please. There. Got to have cookies with a Costa. I mean a Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, a Starbucks. This is eggnog style. We're feeling a bit festive. And you've got gingerbread. Gingerbread. Hello, everybody. We are going to see the family. My brother, uh, sister in law, and the two nieces. I don't know if you saw them in last year's Christmas video when we visited. We had good fun there. They've got a new addition. Yeah, got a new addition, they got a, a Labrador. No, oh, a retriever. Golden retriever, Maverick. Maverick Golden Retriever. So we're gonna no, we're gonna go down there, Romford on our way now. Uh just stopped off in Starbucks. And then um tomorrow we'd like you to join us if you fancy it. We're gonna get the van. I'll go to the yard. You can come along with me, we'll go to the storage yard, we'll get the van, pick Kirsty and the dogs up, and we're gonna head off to Hunstanton just for the day, park up there and have something to eat. Fish and chips, probably not. Don't know, don't know yet. We might even take a pizza and do it in the oven, just park up along the front there mm. and see. Hopefully it'll be uh, an interesting day and we'll have a little chat and a little channel update, what we've been up to. Um, yeah, let's go. My brother and sister-in-law's house. My two nieces, Sienna and Savannah the swimmer, and now a, a climber, avid climber. What's the climbing thing called? High ropes. High ropes. Yeah. Maverick the doggy. All right, Maverick. It's only 10 months, isn't it? Yeah. Big old dog for 10 months. Hello. <laughs> Kirstie's found the cat. This is King Julian. King Julian the cat. Yeah, it's so Christmassy in here. And what a lovely job. For the kids, the Christmas tree. Look at that. There's my Uncle Tony over there. <laughs>
forwards the next day and I'm off over the storage yard to get the van. Change of plans, we're not going to on Stanton. The reason being is there's just not enough hours in the day. Sorry, not enough daylight hours at this time of year. December, as you know, it's like, especially when it's gloomy like this. It's like, feels like it gets light out at nine o'clock in the morning and dark at three. So by the time we drive that all that way, we're gonna go a bit more local actually to the anglo-saxon uh, village yeah, on the way to bury st edmunds from where we are it's about a 20 minute drive so we can go in there and park up and uh, take the dogs for a walk there's a lovely um, walking area over there you've got king's forest which is really nice and also the reason we're doing this is to give the van a run we've got nowhere booked no campsites anywhere we thought we'd give the van a run it's been it's been parked up for about four four weeks now you know, it don't hurt to take the van out every now and then, get the rust off the, uh, the surface rust off the, the, the discs, the brake discs, and also, um, you know, just to keep things in working order. I like to make sure everything's working and running uh, every now and then, it don't hurt. It's caught cool quite a bit, and I've put another one up here too. I've left all the uh, the doors open and the lockers open as you do. And that one at the back there, yeah, that's caught some. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah. So that's two of them I've had. This one smells nice. This is from Wilco's. This one. It's got like a lavender sort of smell to it. It's caught cool. caught quite a bit. I'm quite surprised really it just shows you how much moisture does get in these vans when they're parked up uh, first thing i'm going to do is um close the boiler tap because i, I drained it down so um i'll probably didn't want to forget and end up trying to fill the van up and it just running straight back out again yeah Okay, back in the van. <laughs> Still not fixed that blind. Got to do a video about that soon. <laughs> We've got the part. Here it is. We've had it a while now. We've just not got round to doing it. But we should make a video of it soon. And I'll show you how not to do it. <laughs> Well, at least the van started, that's a good sign. It's going to be such a short day, this, because, I've, as I said, I've got to get the van back here before it gets dark. And also, so Kirsty can have her car to go work tomorrow, because that's Kirsty's car. I ain't got a car. I got rid of mine. I had to sell it as part of the deposit for that, for the van. On top of the uh, Bolero, that is. Oh, where did I put the key? Oh, it's in the ignition. <clears throat> Must be nuts doing all this just for a couple of hours. But as I said, at least it gives the van a run. And that's a little, little, uh, little break out. Let's go. On our way 
way to this West Stowe Anglo-Saxon village, which I think we have done videos there before. Not from the car park though, we've stayed in the campsite opposite Kings Forest, really nice campsite, definitely recommend there. It's just handy to get up and get out and even if you are going to a car park and having a cup of tea and a burger like what we're going to do, <laughs> it just gets you out, doesn't it? Yeah, somewhere nice different to walk the dogs. Yeah, I think it's uh, good for the van. Hopefully it's going to brighten up. They said it's going to, but it is only going to be, I was saying that, because this van has to be back to the storage yard, we've got limited daylight hours. Yeah. Kings Forest campsite is just uh, just through there. Back to, yeah, just through there. We're coming up now to the uh, Anglo-Saxon village. No height restrictions. I was concerned that there was going to be height restrictions because they seem to be putting them in everywhere lately. There's a few more people there than I thought there was going to be. Is this a pay and display? Yeah. Three quid. Yeah. I don't know where we're going to go. Somewhere out of the way. Somewhere out of the way. Like campers do. up the taps now all year has gone but it just didn't have blast out just now <laughs> well, I forgot to have the taps up when I fill up which I should know better hot cold yeah mm. that'll do Lovely. So we just left the van over there and walked and found this little river. A little uh, river lark restoration project. Trail, yeah, Anglo Saxon ship. Looks like a Viking ship, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, so these are little pe um there's a trail walk, yeah, and there's different things to see along the way. Nice. So we're looking at number two. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. But we've got to go back to the van because when we parked up I um primed all the taps and then went to put the heating on and then got a code. <laughs> And uh, we waited around, I uh, started it up again and no joy, I think you've got to wait 15 minutes so um, we're going to go back now, put the heating on and then go back out again. Just hope it comes back on, um, left Kirsty up there with the dogs because otherwise they'll think they're going back in. And just hope it um, works this time because uh, it's been more than 15 minutes. We shall see. Gas on. No codes, please.
Okay. Let's get it on, say 19. Get the water on eco. And wait. I heard a little click. Oh no! Why? Right, leave it on and flashing for 15 minutes, which I didn't, I turned it off. So I've got to leave it on instead of turning it off. Okay, another walk. <laughs> Got to leave it on for 15 minutes, not turned off for 15 minutes. <laughs> so we'll go for another 15 minute walk. Don't matter. But we, I mean, we haven't used gas since, what, April? <laughs> well, yeah. I say it's like, well, for heating anyway. Yeah. So, next time, ensure the supply of gas is switched on, then turn the heater on. <laughs> yes, Michael. It's one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually a nice day out here, really. You've got little picnic areas everywhere. And the Anglo-Saxon village is just just there and through there. Loads of walks. Ideal for the kids. Good day out, isn't it? Yeah. Or a couple of days if you want to stay at the campsite across across the uh, across the road there. Um. You're letting all the cold out. <laughs> Get them clean. Yeah. Take them off. Step straight in it again, bring it back in. Have you got any other shoes? Uh, yeah. They're filthy. Yeah, I, what, what, just leave them here, mate. It's not flashing. No. Right, that's a good sign then. Right, so let me just take my shoes off. Twelve point six. We put Telly on. Yeah, let's just get that eating on first. Make sure it's been 15 minutes to get some light in here. Oh, yeah, I'll shut them. Uh, so now, what do I do? Is turn the whole lot off or what? Yes, we have heating. It's coming out nice and warm now. Feel it? Yeah. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking to the viewers. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can't beat, can't beat a bit of gas heating. So we're settled down now. Just about to have a, um, a bap. <laughs> Bacon bap. Bacon sausage bap, actually. And egg. Oh, and egg. Lovely. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the car park's filling up. We never expected it to. Thought it'd be a bit um, quiet today. Yeah. Quite a few people turning up. I think Mang needs to go for walks. Mm -hmm because it's such a fast area to walk in. The van is filthy, it's got to be cleaned. Not only no. Lovely. How many are you having? I'm having two. Two mince pies. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah, got to be done, isn't it? <laughs> mince pies. I don't know, I don't know if it's mince pies. Oh no, Kirsty, you made them, didn't you? Yeah, but look at the top. Oh yeah. You can't hardly see, but there's French bulldogs on there. can not hardly see but there's french bulldogs on there no, you can't tell. Oh yeah, yeah just, just about that way, yeah. You can see a French Bulldog on there. It is roasted in here. <laughs> you know what it's like on gas? It soon eats up, don't it? Woo! It is hot. And guess what? We've got about an hour before we've got to go. <laughs> Where's the time go, eh? It's half past one now. But if we leave about half past two, I should be able to get back to the yard for about... We'll drop you off, get back to the yard about quarter past three, 
and then because it's so dark cloud horrible <sighs> but anyway <laughs> it was a quick nice little trip out good old mince pie <laughs> merry christmas everyone merry christmas plans for next year well have we got any Oh, going away as much as we can. Getting in a van and going away as much as we can, yeah. For weekends, as usual. I'd like to try and find some more little CLs. Yeah, that is definitely on the plan, in the plan. We're definitely going to try and find... we Those CLs that we visited this year, towards the end of the year, I think we did a few CLs, didn't we? And we absolutely love mm. them. The freedom, really. A lot of them, you know, they are, they are sort of out, the, out in the sticks a little bit, aren't they? Which is the whole point of them. But they just seem to be so much more... Um, Quieter. Yeah, quieter, five pitches. Cheaper. But for us, I mean, we like being out, you know, I know we all like being out in the nature and that's the whole the whole point of it. Main thing is somewhere nice to take these for a walk. Yeah, if you've got dogs, they're ideal for walking. And cycling, because some of them, there's some nice little cycle. Yeah. Those, what are those cycle routes called? Um, you know, where they see the little blue signs? Uh, cycle routes with blue signs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Just cycle routes. And trails. Stuff like that. That's what we like doing. Putting your backpack on. Taking your flask with you, if you can. Isn't it? Nice, yeah, isn't it's it? lovely. Yeah. That's why we do like the odd CL. We might venture out, out yeah. of Norfolk. <laughs> Get some culture shock and go to a place like Suffolk. <laughs> or even further away in Essex. Well, didn't you say we might go to Leeds to get the habitation done? Yeah, we got so so we got we've had the van a year and a, a year and a two months now, so we've got to get the habitation done. Uh, I know you can call anyone out and, and get an habitation done, but we'd rather go back to the factory where they uh, where they built it. They know the insides and out of it, don't they? So yeah, plus it's a nice day out. Go, I like going into Leeds. I really. Well, if you've seen the video when we went back there last year to have the solar panels fitted. Uh, it was such a lovely, uh, <laughs> sorry, these dogs are desperate to get this bit fire, and they're, they're not having it. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you ain't having it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed um, Leeds. Leeds was fabulous, um, and everyone up there as well. Yeah, like, I want to go in the cat cafe this time. They've got a cafe where it's just got cats everywhere. Everywhere. Crawling all over you. I'm sure you love it. I'm sure yeah, I, I will too. Why? It's just something different. I'll say. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit marmite that one, isn't it? We don't know when that'll be. I've not, I ain't booked it yet, but I am going to be booking a, a service in January. You're going to put the van in. There's a local place to us in in Thetford. Mm. What are they called? Oh, it's like a, they do. It's a Fiat specialist place anyway, and Iveco, and they do uh, use all the genuine parts and stuff. So, um, they do all the servicing, don't they? Yeah, they do all the servicing. So I'm going to have it fully serviced. Um, not ready for a can built yet, thank God. But we will be doing the... Just like a, like a full service and the habitation, probably... April? Maybe April when it gets a bit lighter at night, when the clocks change. Back up to Leeds, we'll spend the day there. Again, really enjoyed that. Uh, I know habitations are not law, but we do try and have one done. At least every couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, just nice to know, isn't it? All your your gas pipes and your electrics all in good and safe mm. working order. But if anyone can recommend any little CLs or little sites in Norfolk or Suffolk that yeah. they've been to, I think they'll be the watching comments. their videos for us to recommend them. Well, no, because people do... have recommended some <coughs> sites. Yeah, they can pop them in the comments. Let us know if they've been into any nice little CLs. Yeah, if you could let us know in the comments below. If you have been in any CLs, probably, I mean, Essex, yeah, uh, Suffolk, Cambridge, Norfolk, here, Norfolk. Cambridge, anywhere around there is um, doable for us. Yeah. You know, thanks for coming along with us this weekend. We had a good weekend with the family, yeah. as you saw. And, Lovely food. Uh, that was yesterday to us. Um, yeah, nice food she'd done. That pavlova, did I, did I show you that pavlova? Oh, my. I that think it's on, I think it's on Instagram. Wow, that was something else, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Is it Pavlova or Pavlova? Pavlova. 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 Who knows? But anyway, thanks for thanks for coming along with us, and thanks for watching all of our videos. We really do appreciate it. And oh yeah, <laughs> what is it we always forget to say? Please subscribe.
It's free. Every video, we always say, we must say subscribe at the end of the video. Everyone else does, except us. <laughs> we keep forgetting. I don't know why. It can't be that hard, can it? But every video, you look at them all. Honestly, go watch them all back. <laughs> Never, not once do we say subscribe. I might remember to put uh, the writing on. Always forget. If you wouldn't mind, subscribe, because it helps us in the um, YouTube... Uh, Algorithm. Algorithms, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're liking algorithms at the moment. Don't ask me what that means, but it's supposed to be good. So give us a good algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, Merry Christmas, and we see you again, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully soon. We might do a New Year message. Happy New Year message. Like we usually do, standing, standing in front of the tree. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. See you next time. Okay. Bye. Good old mince pie. <laughs> hey. Lovely. Merry Christmas, everyone. From me and Kirsty. <laughs> Did you just say it? <laughs> Not yet. We'll do it again. Okay. Hang on. Can't beat a mince pie at Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone, by the way. Merry Christmas. And, uh, Plans for next year? Well, have we got any? Oh, going away as much as we can. Getting in a van and going away.